cheapest EV in the world. Smallest EV in the world. Outselling Tesla. General Motors has been finding its footing in the EV industry lately. They overtook Ford Motors and became the second highest EV seller behind Tesla in America. They also have a raft of new models coming, including the Escalade EV. But they recently confirmed they would end production of the Chevy Bolt EV, its best-selling EV. Why would they do this? Is there something new coming? Join us as we take a look at the GM CEO's plans for a $4,900 EV that could replace the Chevy Bolt. Before we go into details, we need to understand one thing. GM's relationship with China. Mary Barra recently made her first visit to China since the pandemic. During her visit, she addressed the growing competition GM is facing from electric vehicle rivals such as Tesla Inc. and BYD Co. in the Chinese market. During her visit, Barra met with Shanghai's leader and discussed the future of GM's investments and research and development in the city. The municipal government of Shanghai released a statement indicating that the city's party chief, Sheng Jingying, encouraged GM to increase its investments and R&D efforts in Shanghai. Sheng Jingying emphasized the significance of the automotive industry as a key pillar of Shanghai's economy. He reassured GM that the city would continue to enhance its business environment and provide improved services for both Chinese and international companies operating in the automotive sector. In response, Mary Barra acknowledged the importance of China as a critical market for GM. She expressed her comment to further developing clean and intelligent vehicles in collaboration with GM's local partners in China. Now, since Mary Barra's previous visit to China, GM has faced challenges in the country's automotive market. GM's vehicle deliveries in China dropped from 3.09 million vehicles in 2019 to 2.3 million vehicles in the following year. Additionally, GM's share of China's new car market decreased from 15% in 2015 to 9.8% by 2022. GM has established joint ventures with local Chinese automakers, such as Saic Motor Corp and Wuling Motors. One of the notable successes resulting from these partnerships is the development of the $4,900 Hongguang Mini EV, which became a popular model and the best-selling car in China last year. This vehicle revolutionized the market for mini electric vehicles by selling over 1 million units of the Wuling Hongguang Mini in less than three years. However, sales of the electric mini car have been slowing down. GM's market share declined in China but can be attributed to several factors. Now, one significant factor is the intense competition from electric vehicle manufacturers like Tesla and BYD. Now, these companies have gained popularity in the Chinese market due to their robust offerings of electric vehicles. Unlike Tesla and BYD, GM has limited electric vehicle options available in China, primarily represented by brands like Cadillac and Chevrolet. This limited selection has hindered GM's ability to compete effectively in the growing electric vehicle segment, contributing to its loss of market share to its electric rivals. In a bid to catch up with its EV rivals, GM is putting the pedal to the metal and accelerating the launch of the new EV models. The company has already overtaken Ford Motor Co. in the United States, securing the coveted second spot as the highest seller of EVs in the first quarter of this year. But GM's ambitious plans don't stop there. In the Chinese market, where the race for EV dominance is fiercer than ever, the company is gearing up to make a grand entrance. This year, GM is set to unveil not one, not two, but four electric models across its popular brands, Buick, Cadillac, and Chevrolet. With these exciting additions, GM is ready to electrify the Chinese market and revitalize its position. One of the eagerly anticipated models is the sleek and futuristic Electra E5. As its name suggests, the Electra E5 promises to bring a surge of electric power and cutting-edge technology to the streets of China. GM recognizes the importance of catering to the diverse tastes of Chinese consumers, and the launch of electric models across different brands allow them to do just that. Now, whether you're a fan of the refined elegance of Buick, the luxurious sophistication of Cadillac, or the classic American charm of Chevrolet, GM has an electric vehicle in store for you. Now, the $4,900 Mini EV is about to get even cheaper. 
The SAIC GM Wu Ling Joint Venture has introduced an innovative monthly battery payment plan for the highly successful Wu Ling Hongguang Mini EV. This groundbreaking initiative allows customers to purchase the entry level Mini EV for an incredibly low starting price of just $2,838. To make it even more convenient, customers can then pay a monthly fee of $28 for the battery over a period of five years. This innovative approach to pricing addresses one of the main barriers to EV adoption, battery costs. By offering a separate monthly payment plan for the battery, the joint venture makes the upfront cost of owning an electric vehicle significantly more affordable. This strategy not only makes EV ownership accessible to a wider range of consumers, but also encourages the adoption of environmentally friendly transportation options. One important aspect of this payment plan is that, after the five-year period, customers will become the rightful owners of the battery. Unlike some EVs that feature removable or swappable batteries, the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV has a fixed battery system meaning the battery cannot be easily removed or swapped out. The Wuling Hongguang Mini EV has already established itself as a blockbuster hit, capturing the hearts of Chinese consumers with its compact size, impressive range, and affordability. With the introduction of the new monthly battery payment plan, the SIAC GM Wuling Joint Venture aims to further fuel the popularity of the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV and continue driving the growth of the mini electric vehicle market. One of the biggest challenges many people face when it comes to owning a car is the significant upfront cost associated with purchasing a brand new or used vehicle. This hurdle is even more pronounced in many developing countries, where the vehicle's financing sector is not as well established due to various reasons, including the local economic situation and lower incomes. Introducing small and affordable vehicles that are easy to maintain and have lower operational costs can significantly lower the barrier to entry for individuals who simply need a practical means of transportation from point A to point B without extravagant features. In this context, a small and affordable battery electric vehicle could be a game changer. GM seems to have recognized this as an opportunity and is potentially poised to take advantage of it. By introducing small, affordable BEVs, GM can tap into the market demand for practical and cost-effective transportation solutions. Upon its launch in 2021, the hardtop versions of the vehicle outsold Tesla by an astonishing margin of over 100,000 units. The affordability factor, coupled with its adorable design, contributed to its immense popularity. Bringing this exceptionally affordable EV to the U.S. market could potentially revolutionize the segment of city cars and attract a large number of American consumers to embrace electric mobility. The affordability of the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV could be a game changer, especially for those seeking an accessible entry point into the world of electric cars. Although there's no official word yet on when or if sales will commence in the States, one can't help but speculate about the possibilities. Californians, in particular, might be the most eager U.S. buyers, especially considering the proposed state law that mandates all new cars sold there must be electric vehicles starting in 2035. With its budget-friendly price tag and eco-friendly credentials, the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV could be the perfect fit for California consumers. The popularity and success of the Chinese version of the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV provide a strong indication that its U.S. launch may happen sooner rather than later. However, GM has not made any official announcements regarding the availability or timeline for the U.S. market. The company has also announced that it is ending the production of the Chevy Bolt, and this move can be seen as a smart and calculated decision for several reasons. One of the key benefits of ending the production of the Chevy Bolt is that it frees up more workers and resources within GM to focus on developing and producing a smaller and more affordable alternative. Additionally, the Chevy Bolt has faced significant challenges in recent years, particularly related to battery issues that could potentially cause the vehicle to catch fire. These concerns prompted two recalls by GM and warnings to drivers to park their vehicles outside after the battery is charged. Such safety concerns can severely impact consumer trust and confidence in a vehicle model, ultimately affecting its market performance and reputation. In light of these challenges, axing the Chevy Bolt and discontinuing its production is a rational decision from both a business and customer standpoint. What do you think about this news? Let us know in the comments below.